hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new please be sure to subscribe and if you're a returner thank you so much for coming back also i just want to say thank you guys so much for 150 plus subscribers i really really do appreciate it so just heading straight into the video today's look was inspired by valentine's day um so we have a bold wing liner and a red lip to match it and it was absolutely fab so um what i'm doing right now is just filling in my client's brows and i'm using the morphe brow pencil and now i'm concealing her brows with the elega concealer in the shade cool tan never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down now moving on to foundation, I used the NARS foundation in the shade Marquise and I used the Maybelline Fit Me in 335 and I'm just blending that out with the Biotechniques Insta Pop face brush and I'm using a tapping dab 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 motions, I'm not rubbing it across her face. And now I'm just getting a smaller brush to get into all the small places that I couldn't with that brush because it is a bit big. And on her lids, I just put the P. Louise base in the shade 5. And then I just went in in her brows while I was just waiting for it to dry a little bit. And now I'm just blending that out with a uh, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And now I'm just setting her lids with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And now I'm going in with her eyeliner. I used the Revolution Eyeliner in Jet Black. And um, I like to get my clients to open their eyes so I can kind of just gauge how high I want the eyeliner to be. So eyeliners, it's not that hard, but it just takes a while to master because everyone's eye is different. Um, but what you can do is just draw a line um, to get the shape that you want and then you fill it in. So that's the best way I can describe it. Like draw like a triangle coming out of the eye and then fill it in and then draw a line on the waterline, however thick you want it to be. Now for her highlight, I'm using the Elega Concealer in Cool Tan and for her contour, I use the Revolution Concealer in the shade C14 and now I'm just blending all of that out. Wherever you will call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wonder Now I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder And I'm just using that to set all the places I highlighted So her cheeks, her forehead, her chin, her nose And I also like to put it on the brows And also I'm putting it all over her eyes Because we didn't put any eyeshadow So I just want to make sure we set her eyes and I'm also going in with the Revolution um, bronzer just to bring warmth and color back into her face. And um, I'm using a press powder just to rub off the bake. And I'm going in with a little bit of blush. You can just use any pink or orange eyeshadow for a brush. And I'm using the Morphe Continuous Mist, I believe it's called, to set her face. And this is a really key step. I love going back in with a beauty blender um, once I've put setting spray. And then I kind of like to go back in with like the contour and the blush and whatnot just to bring it back um, and strengthen it if I feel like it was kind of washed away. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record everything for you guys like the red lip and I know you guys will have loved to see seen that. But um, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Bye. You are known and I will not